Riffing on the bassoon solo from the Rite of Spring may seem like an odd way to start a course on jazz, but when I read that quote from the composer Igor Stravinsky, I couldn't resist it. With all due respect, jazz is now entering its second century and is nowhere near disappearing. One of its strengths is the multiple styles we have. There's Louis Armstrong and his Hot Five from 1926. From 1959, an odd meter offering by the Dave Brubeck Quartet. If you prefer larger ensembles, we have Count Basie and Joe Williams from 1956. I have or this recording of the Diva Jazz Orchestra. Together we're going to explore what makes jazz sound like it does. The swing, the structure and spontaneity, the emotion, and that sometimes mysterious communication that happens between players on a bandstand. Some of the same players will speak to us directly thanks to the unique resource of the Phileas Jazz Archive here at Hamilton College. Musicians like Joe Williams, Clark Terry, Marion McPartland, and Louis Belson will share their anecdotes and give us an insight into the jazz life. Let me offer you another quote, this time from Dave Brubeck. Jazz stands for freedom. It's supposed to be the voice of freedom. Get out there and improvise and take chances. This course is designed for fans, musicians, and the curious at heart. If you take a chance on it, chances are we're going to get you. We might get you here, we might get you here, we might get you here. In fact, we might get you everywhere. <laughs>